Okay guys, so I thought I would do a car tour today. I've been planning on doing it for a while and, well, not for a while, I haven't had the car long, right? But it's a beautiful day out here and before it gets dirty, I definitely wanna do this. So, um, just in case you don't know, I got a 2024 um, Forerunner and it's the first new car I've ever had in my life so it's a very exciting for me I've never really got to experience that new car smell which is I don't want any kind of air fresheners right now you know what I mean so let me turn it around let you guys see it I'm around so here's the back I'll do a walk around then we'll go through the inside so it start what's it's bumming me out because it's starting to get a little dirty already look at that can y'all see that no I don't, and look at the dust. Dust. I should have wiped the whole thing off, but I didn't. So, basically, here's this side. Not to, hold on. I'm trying not to, I am going to get in the grass, apparently. So, all right. I know there's a lawnmower going behind me, but here's this side. Okay. Let's do the front. It looks pretty awesome in the front. Then we'll get in when it's nice and quiet, okay? So there's the front of her. I like the little scoop thing on the front there. So here's the other side. All right, let's go to the back and check out the back first. Here's the little headlight or side mirrors and the little light. All right, it's such a pretty day. Let's go ahead. So to open it up, there's a little button thing right here. Let's pull her open. Okay, so here's the back. I think I'm gonna get something to just wipe that out right there. Cause as you can see, the back is totally nice and neat. Oh, I don't even know what this is. What is this? A cargo net, cool. Okay, so I didn't even know this was in here until just now. So I'll stick it back over here for now. Um, we do have a thing where you can plug something in back here and of course the regular one and then I love these little trays I got a couple walking sticks back there I have no idea oh it's a first aid kit guys you can see I haven't thoroughly checked it out apparently there's a little first aid kit I wonder what's in there I don't know this right here is my little power cleaning it's a little super powerful vacuum that I got off TikTok shop and that's just my wheel shine and my brush and all that kind of stuff in there and then I do have me a case of the my favorite prime ever the strawberry banana and some water that I got at Sam's so anyway doesn't the back look totally immaculate I love these right here all right let's go see the back seat See the back seat there's people out here yelling around okay so here's the the door back seat now this is the side that i usually i have to put ricky on so i was really having to clean this side i just now put these mats down and they go over like those deep mats um that i just cleaned that with my little power cleaning because a little four-year-old boy yeah um the interior is leather black Okay, there's what this looks like. I don't know what this is. This is a first, check it out. There's a little white, okay, a little white speck, I got it. I didn't know this was here. What? Okay, so that's cool. Wow, neat. And I wish we had smell-o-vision because I'd love for you guys to smell this new car scent, okay? Um, I do have my little Dollar Tree hooks up here, our little, to, if you guys don't have these these have been a game changer let me just say I love them and then over there I have one Dollar Tree one and one Timu one which is sparkly um, it has this little cargo net type backing here and let's see here is there yeah so this is to plug stuff in okay and then we have your little you know to control the temperatures yes okay let's let's look on the other side oh I forgot to show y'all I do have a rack on top so me and Fifi 
could possibly, well, I know we could put the uh, kayaks up there, but we're going to see. I don't know. And also, this back window here slides down. I think it was down. Yeah. Um, and I don't know how to do that yet. I don't know. I don't know hardly anything about this car yet. Okay. The other back seat side, pretty much the same, actually, probably exactly the same as the other side. So I guess if this lays down, we could probably really fit some kayaks in here. I can't stand the thoughts of getting kayaks in here, but here's a, here's a little tidbit of information. Fifi got her a brand new car day before yesterday, so I don't, she probably won't be wanting to haul anything either. So we'll have to flip a coin apparently. So anyway, let's get front passenger side. Front passenger side, I got my house shoes on guys, so I'm going to kick them off before I climb in. Yeah, I'm not going to be one of them people forever, but maybe just for a minute. So, and I got these mats, I just put these down, they were in the back in plastic, and they just go down in, which these are lifesavers, you know? These things here, I have to say, my Jeep totally um, leaked, and those things saved it. So here we are, front seat. Um, here is how you open the glove box, press it. I got some napkins in there already, of course. I've, I've ate in here already. And let me tell you, I'm super, super careful, okay? There's all my paperwork and the books. I got the big book in the house, but this is just all the legal, you know, legalese stuff. I'm gonna close this door so y'all can hear me. That's a little better. Okay, so I got this right here from TikTok Shop, and you actually plug it in to your thing, and when you put your phone on it, like right here, um, it automatically senses your phone and closes around it, and it's a charger, but this is also what I was filming on the other day, and we'll go on the other side, and we're going to start her up, but um, let's see. When you flip these down, well, I'll show you that on the other side, too. I just wanted to show you this. Well, there goes my son. I don't know what he's doing. Check it out. Huh. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to pause this and go to the other side and get in and start her up. Alright, I'm in the driver's side now and um, put my foot on the brake. This is the very first push start car I've ever had in my life. So that's exciting. Let me turn my wheel around here so y'all can kind of see here so here is how I switch between the songs and stuff on like Sirius radio volume up and down let me turn it down something's coming on I got it on the blues station right now I believe um, so up here is just like a dash and whenever I do my Dollar Tree car hauls this is a lot of room to put stuff so I like that okay and then we got a little clock here which I like it's kind of you know Oh, plus we have the clock here. So we have it here and here. And I don't know what it is about recording lights like this. They always look like they're flashing, but they're really not. All right, so it's a pretty warm today. I'm gonna turn the air on. So I'm just gonna turn it here. I got it on cool over here. And I'm gonna put it right at my face because yes, I do have a hot flash going on right now. And then here are the car vents. Open and close, okay. And then there's one over there and then one right here and then we have the windows which something that is weird to me usually the driver like if you know because with kids a lot of times you want to lock the back you know the back windows because Ricky or whatever you know he'll be trying to roll them down if I lock this I can't even roll down okay oh well maybe Oh, wait, was that? Well, maybe. Okay, yeah. Like the back window, I can't even control it with it when it's locked. Ain't that weird? The only one I can control is mine when it's locked. So I don't know what's up with that. Like, but yeah. But anyway, here is what this looks like. My 
um, odometer and all that stuff it has 164 miles on it right now and when I test drove it it had two whole miles on it guys so I was so thrilled um, I have it set for the Sirius XM but you can make it make different things come on there um, let me just show you there's like a little compass we have the steering angle which I don't have any clue we have um, how many miles per gallon and all that stuff, which I don't really, you know, I don't get into that stuff, but I know a lot of people do, especially guys. Um, we have this, which no clue. It has 63 degrees on it though, so there's that. Um, no messages. Um, we have, I don't know. Oh, probably things that I can do. Like, I don't know, like, what is, oh. Like, what is that? Like the, is that the gas? I don't know. I'm gonna have to look at my book, guys. If y'all know, be, be, go ahead. Go ahead and let me know. So that's how much gas I've got. It had um, a full tank when I got it. And yeah, I've been running a little bit. I'm going to pick up kids and stuff. So there's the odometer. It shows I'm not buckled up right now. And right here is that fun dial. And then there's the hot and cold thing. And then we have the signal stuff. Um, and then over here, we have this little thing that controls the mirrors. We have this little thing, which I have no idea. And we have some kind of auto headlight thing that you can set for, like if you had, have your high beams on, and I think that's this. I'm not sure, guys. Once again, I really don't know a whole lot about it yet. But the guy was telling me you can set it to where when you are driving at nighttime and you have your high beams on, that the car will automatically sense another car's lights coming and automatically take it from high beam to regular beam for you, which I think is magnificent because, like, sometimes I tend to forget. Um, and then we have a little thing here where I can press. Where is that? and get a full view of around the car. Uh, where is that? Hold on. So, hold on. Let me go over here. There's where I press to start it. Let me see where that button is. I know it's not that. Bear with me. I don't think, oh yeah, here it is. So I can press the button over here and it will show me like the full view of the car. How does it do that? Okay, how? does it do that so here's my car from over top from on top so if anybody's like um, squatting down beside the car if I'm in a parking lot or something like that you can actually check your surroundings and that's awesome so this right here is what's showing in the front of my car right now let me see let me press a button or two I don't know really hold on I don't really, I don't, like I said, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I gotta learn it, guys. I gotta learn it. But yeah, I think it's a really cool that you can check outside your car just to make sure nobody's sneaking around. You know, that's really good. And then we have this home screen. And I do have a backup camera, which is the first backup camera I've ever had in my life. And that's really exciting. So here is the home screen. And let me have a let me ask a question, guys. Let me ask a question. Do you guys know, hold on, serious question. Like at nighttime, this screen is so bright and stuff. Is there a way, and you guys might know this, for me to dim this screen at nighttime while I'm driving? Cause I have no clue and it really bothers me and I feel like that I don't drive as good with this bright screen over here. So if y'all know, let me know because I've, I, I haven't looked it up yet, but I'm like, you guys know everything. So if y'all know, please let me know because it's, it's, it's very distracting to me. Um, okay. Let's get, let's get back in here. Okay. So the home screen, um, we have the menu, which has a different little apps, phone apps. I don't even know what these apps are. Um, no, authorization notifications and Wi-Fi. I think I got a Wi-Fi hotspot. I also have um, Syria or S XM. What is this? Sirius XM radio. I have that until October 15th. 
and if I don't cancel, it's going to charge my card. So I got to remember to cancel it because I don't really need it because I have Pandora. And this right here, this thing has like um, Android Auto. So my Pandora and everything, you know, I can play through this, which I pay $5.99 a month for Pandora. And I love it. Um, it also has the maps. So if you are, you know, you're going somewhere and you need your maps. That I've never had a screen. I've never had a screen. So this is fabulous so um, let's see here the this right here on the steering wheel I can answer calls or hang up calls mode what's that say mode hold I guess I can put a, a call on hold if I need to um, I've no idea I guess this is to help me to change that little screen and this is always takes the screen back home so I'm gonna press it I'm gonna show you guys I'm pressing it so that, I guess, is the home screen right there. I, don't, I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, but then we have, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea what these are. Um, I'm going to have to look. I don't know about this either. Um, so, <laughs> I know. You guys are thinking, geez, um, this is my windshield wipers. I finally figured those out. I have a wiper on the back and even says a rear. So I got those figured out. And then over here is my headlight, my headlight little thing there. And I guess I can tilt this wheel, but I don't feel like I really need to. Um, I can raise and lower the seat to like up higher or down lower. I can make it go forward or backward by the little side things. Um, I love the way that the, that, I don't know if it's picking up or, or not, but it looks sparkly. Can y'all see that? It just it adds a little bling to the car. Now, I am really not interested at this moment to add in a bunch of stuff on the inside. I just kind of want to savor this, but um, in the future, I'm sure I will. Um, first of all, I wanted to show y'all this. Now, this is not a huge mirror, okay? Like, and I forgot my other mirror in my Jeep, so um, this mirror right here, when I open it up, it automatically has a little light that comes on, so hi, hi, so I like that, but the mirror is small, um, but that's okay, um, and then we have this up here, we have some lights here, and then I'm sure there's some, yeah, right there, I don't know. Am I on them? I can't see. But there's lights back there. I'm supposed to take this off when I read it, but I haven't really read it yet. Um, and then we're going to go here. Oh, let me show y'all. Okay, ready? We have a sunroof or a moonroof? A moonroof. So for the roof, you can go up. You see that? And down. Or, obviously, hold on. Let me. There we go. Oh, yeah all the way now i used to have a moonroof on my envoy when i had it and that was really nice um so i love a roof i love a moonroof oh look up there i see a plane do y'all see the plane how beautiful it's a gorgeous day so let's close the moonroof down is that down okay so let me just go ahead and close the whole thing just like that okay um and then we have i think this is you have it on and the lights come on whenever you open your doors so i have it on right now because i like for the lights to come on when i open my doors um and then i do not know what one two three is right here so i'm gonna have to check that out it probably let's do i don't know should i maybe not i'm not gonna do it because i don't know and then we have more buttons that i don't know about so <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. And then I don't know what that button right there. Is. Wait a minute. Where is that button? Hold on. Where'd it go? Oh, right there. I don't know what that is. Is that to call for help? I don't know. SOS. Okay, yes. So we have that. And then this is something to do with off-roading is what that guy said. So, yeah, I don't know. Right now it's set on medium. I guess that's correct. I have no clue. And then that side... Um, yeah, I don't know that either. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> so here it is, guys. Um, my car, I have to say, I'm so excited to have it. I never, I mean, 
I didn't never think I'd never have a brand new car, but we've always gotten used cars. And that's always a bit, because if you have a car and you get a new used car, it's like new to you, you know? So, because you, when you buy a, a used car from a dealership, it's it's very clean and nice and everything. So, um, oh, I didn't show you down in here. Let me show you down in here. Okay, so I have my little Timu little things down in the drink holders. Okay, I have the Sun and Moon one. We have this little, I don't know what that's for, honestly, and a couple of things to plug stuff up. And then this right here, I have a pair of reading glasses in here. I don't know, um, but Fifi has one of these in her new car, and when she lays her phone on it, it automatically starts charging. Her car is definitely more high-tech than mine. So here is what I use to put it in four-wheel drive, which I only had to use four-wheel drive in the Jeep probably three to four times the whole time I had it. And then this is my lucky 50 cent piece. My hubby gave me that and told me keep it for good luck. So I brought it from the Jeep and that seems like a perfect little place to keep it. Here's my gear shifter and yeah, oh, this is gonna be to hang up on my rear view mirror to do filming, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. Here's my key fob and my Timu keychain, chain, which I love. So there's that, and then there's my other little thing here. Check it out, I do have seat warmers, which in the win, can y'all see? Like, I can't even see it, there they are. So the seat warmers in the winter, that will be absolutely fabulous. Here's a little crumb from where I ate in here the other day, OMG. Okay, back up. Okay, so this is, what is this? Oh, this is for the back window. Okay, here we go. Let's let's turn around. Okay, y'all ready? I was wondering where this was. So, okay, back window. Okay, never mind. It's not doing anything. Where is the back window? Because the guy did it. Guys, I have no idea. Like, where could it be? I have no idea. If you if y'all know, let me know. Where could it be? Hold on, let me look at these. <laughs> I'm pressing buttons and I probably shouldn't be. Um, is it up here somewhere? Guys, I don't, I don't know. Okay. Okay, I would. I, I thought it was gonna be this. Oh, hold on. It's gonna be this. Um. It's doing nothing. So I don't know what that is. <laughs> if y'all know where it is, please let me know. Let me know, because apparently I don't know. Where could it be? Oh my gosh! I don't. I, I don't have to go read the. I'm looking for the little ums on here just to see. But I don't know all, there's just too many, there's just too many little things. It's, it's overwhelming. Like, I don't know. Just show me the basics for right now. Um, yeah. So let me show you this as of my car right now. You can't really see this, this, the car, but this is the sides of the car. I'm going to get my son to walk over here so y'all can just kind of see what it would look like if somebody were sneaking up to your car. Hold on a minute. Hey, bird. Will you, will you come over here and act like you're sneaking up to try to crouch beside the car? Okay, he's going to do it, guys. And then we can see, like, if some, we can check Where this. Just like, like the back window, right there. Like, act like you're crouching. Okay, I don't see you. Hold on. Okay, wait. I got to figure out how this works. Okay, hold on a minute. I got, I'm trying to figure out how it works. Auto. Oh, okay. Um, no, auto. All right, now. Auto? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, go try. Oh, yeah, there he is. You can see him. Crouch down. I am. Yeah, you can barely see. Where was I? Oh, there you, you are. You, can you see yourself right here? So you can see if somebody's outside your car. Yeah. Um, go to the back. Let's hit the other view. Right there. This? It's like nothing changes, I don't think. Get it. Get back there. Let me hit it a couple of times. Okay. And is that middle one the button? Because uh, there's different this? modes. Okay. Mid. All right. So he's back there. Why does the car look so little? He looks like a giant. 
Do you see me? Yeah. Go to the very, very back. <laughs> it looks like a giant back there. Um, so anyway, if anybody's creeping up on you guys, this right here is the thing to have. And there's other cameras. All right. Yeah. Like there's more. You look like a giant, like on the like when you were behind it. It looked like this was a matchbox car. That's funny. <laughs> I wish if it showed them like when we're driving. There's like more cameras. Yeah. See me again. Yeah, and this right here is like a, a view from up above it. That's what I don't get. How? Does, how? It shoots a drone up in the air. It does not. And then it watches down. You think it's satellite? It's just the cameras. How? From up above. I think it. I don't know. It's, a, it's some fancy new technology now. Uh, alien technology, yes. right? Okay, thank, thank, thank you for your help. Invisible drone. Thank you. Uh-huh. All right, guys, so that's cool. But how to roll down the back window, I'll have to show you all on another video. Because I just have no... But anyway, I know a lot of you guys was wanting to see a car tour. So I thought I would do it before it got dirty. So let me know what you think. And... Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for everything. And until next time, have a great rest of your day. It's pretty out. Bye.